हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू एक्जियोमेटिकॉस दिस वीडियो इज़ द पार्ट ऑफ द सॉल्यूशन सीरीज़ फॉर आईआईटी जैम 2008 सो वी आर हेयर विद दिस प्रॉब्लम एट ऑफ योर पेपर सो लेट अस फर्स्टली हैव अ लुक ऑन दिस प्रॉब्लम व्हाट इट सेज सो वी हैव एफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू ओके वी हैव एफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू दिस इंटीग्रल ऑफ अ ओके सो वॉट वी कॉल दिस वी कॉल दिस एज इंटीग्रेंट सो दिस इंटीग्रल is of a integrand which is a two variable function where g is a real valued continuous function on r then f dash of x is equal to so 0 x cube gx okay so you have this integral of gt and you have this integral so these are your options so firstly what you need to do you need to calculate this derivative that is f dash x and actually what you are doing there you are doing differentiation under the sign of integral and you know only one rule which will help you and what is the name of that rule the name is leibniz rule okay so leibniz rules tell us how to do differentiation under the integral sign okay so that's the most important catch of this question if you remember leibniz rule you can solve this question directly okay so what's my point i will show you that uh, leibniz rule and then we will proceed with the solutions okay so wait for a second okay so this is the rule it looks okay uh, it looks very difficult but it's not that much difficult it's very easy okay once you apply this rule you will remember this formula forever okay it's it's not that much difficult to write it it's difficult but to remember it's it's easy okay so now let us read this note it says let fxt be a function such that both fxt and its partial derivative so with respect to x we are talking here are continuous in t and x in some reason okay now also they said that these function ax and bx uh, are both continuous and both have continuous derivatives right so what will happen then okay so there uh, i think there is a mistake uh, in uh, there is a typo here so i will correct that first okay wait okay so there was a typo in the uh, formula that i have written so i have corrected it now so what i will do i will write uh, i will when i will use this i will tell you what was the typo okay so i am not going to read this formula what it is i will directly apply and then you will automatically uh you you will be automatically used to it okay so let me change my ink again so okay okay so now let us start what it says so what we have we have a function fx which is actually a integral and the integral is a two valued uh, sorry two variable function okay okay this is our integrand now what i will do i will just compare it with according to the rules that i have written here this rule is known as leibniz rule so according to that rule this is fxt this is ax and this is b of x okay so we have this thing right now let us start since it 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 requires many conditions okay that fxt fxt and its partial derivative should be continuous ax and bx should be continuous okay so i am uh, giving this job to you that you check it yourself that why fxt is continuous why its partial derivative is continuous with respect to x okay partial derivative with respect to x i am talking so all the requirements that are needed here it's your job to um, satisfy those things okay it's jo your job to see it yourself i am directly applying this rule here so what this rule actually says that if you have d by dx of a integral from ax to bx of fxt then what happens actually okay what happens is you have to partially differentiate it first okay partially differentiate with respect to x i am talking about this function fxt and after that what you have to do you have to insert insert uh, this bx in, in place of t 
okay and just differentiate this b dash uh, bx minus uh, okay so you have f of x comma ax dot of a dash x so this is the simplest form that i can write for you now let us apply it's very simple question if you remember this rule so f dash of x will be what it will be the partial differentiation of your given function fxt so this is your fxt if you will partially differentiate it with respect to x you will get 2x g of t dt so now see okay so this partial differentiation thing is your job how i have done that okay i i hope you you know already partial differentiation etc these things now see f of x comma bx what is your bx your bx is actually x okay this is your bx now your bx you have to place inside this fxt in place of t you have to do that so in place of t you have to place bx what is your bx it's x so this thing will be zero and see what is a dash of x a x is zero that means a dash x of is also zero so finally what you are concluding that derivative will be this thing okay so this is the derivative that we are getting so which option is matching it's d option that is matching so d is your answer right so now let me change my ink so this one is incorrect 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 and d one is correct okay so thank you